guys and welcome back as y'all know I'm sitting here in this rainy weather binge watching bring it and this is episode 20 of season 4 and there's no competition on this episode it's just dolls versus dolls and they're trying out so they can perform on the stage with Todrick Hall out of the gate, I am so glad Brittany is back on the porch. I'm so glad that Diana called and had her to come back. And um, they separate the teams up into to two. One of the captains is Cameron and the other one is Christiana, which Brittany said that's probably why she was called back. But anyway, Mimi needed somebody there on her side. To help gain back some control over these parents. Because I don't like, number one, to Tanisha, you're not even a, an original doll parent. And you up in here being disrespectful and whiny and all this kind of stuff and carrying on. And I feel like before long, you're going to be right back to the uh, Prince and Tigerettes. Running over there carrying everything you done learned at the dollhouse back to uh, Quincy. So, I mean, I don't have no trust and no faith in you anyway. I got upset when Cameron started crying because at this point, Mimi need to be working with her on that. She cannot cry every time she gets construct constructive criticism. Nobody is perfect in life, and when you do stuff wrong and people have to critique you on it, it's not saying that you're a bad person or that it's the end-all, be-all. It's just saying, it's not even necessarily that you did bad. It's just saying that I know you can do better or just saying you need to do this so it'll be correct. What's she going to do when she get to college? This girl going to be coming home every two days, every time it will teach a uh, critique on her work. And ask her to redo her assignment or or if she do dance at school or something and she gets critiqued. She can't go home crying every day. Mimi needs to get her out of that. It's called constructive criticism instead of me, Mimi petting her and saying, Oh, you did perfect. It was perfect. I don't know what they're talking about blaming the other person. She has to say, Yeah, it was this one little thing that was off. You need to um, correct she needs to stop making that girl think everything she do is perfect because she only messing the poor child up up in life. Bless her poor little spoiled heart. And she she didn't even do nothing bad. Diana told her the moves was good. The choreography was good. But you need to take that choreography and be sure that it tells a story because it has to tell the story of the Wizard of Oz. She told Christiana the same thing. Your choreography good, but... Make sure it tells a story. Christiana didn't start crying. What did she do? She got with her group, told them what was going on. They put their heads together. They figured it out, and they came through. Brittany stepped in where she needed to step in at, but that's what Mimi should have been doing, not painting everybody else to be bad or saying, you know, they were wrong. So they get to go to Kayla's studio, which is good because the girls miss her. I miss Kayla too. The show, everything is just thrown off when Kayla and Tina are not there. We've watched, like I said, this is the fourth season. Each one of their seasons has a million episodes in it, how they have it broken down. Like, to me, this should be season five, or by now, really, it probably should be season eight, how they have it broken down. But anyway, let's move on. Um, Tori <laughs> come running out of that uh the little studio, like he large and in charge, trying to get somebody in check. I'm just gonna go on and come out and say it. I don't, I don't like him. I don't like his attitude. It's something about his attitude. I don't care for him when he come out there trying to boss it. Come out and I'll lock this door. And it ain't what you you ain't doing nothing new. Diana been locking that door since they been there. You locking the door ain't gonna be nothing new. It ain't gonna hurt they feelings none. They used to the door being locked. <laughs> Boy, bye. <laughs> Whatever. But I still don't care for his uh his opinion. Okay, then they felt like it was too soon for Diana's opinion. 
it wasn't too soon for our opinion. What you want to do? Wait till they get the whole dance together and therefore gone and down, down pat. And then her come say, well, y'all do know this missing and this missing. Then it would have been, well, why she didn't tell us before it got that far gone? Duh. They went in. They had the competition. I mean, both of them, for them to have did those dances they self, they, they doggone good. I mean, I, I'm going to tell you, they got some serious skills on choreography and everything. They really, they really do. Um, I did like Christiana's, um, dance better and, and it's because it told the story. She had individual characters like they were acting out. I seen somebody order Tin Man and you had the lion roaring. It was actually telling the story of Wizard of Oz. JJ tried to tell y'all from the beginning, where is Dorothy? Where is the lion? Where is everything? But, uh, and Mimi still wasn't listening. All she sees and hears is it. Cameron doesn't do no wrong. It was perfect. Even when after JJ brought it up to you, Mimi should have said to Cameron, you need to have individual people, you know, you need to tell a story. She still didn't catch on to it. Anyway, it was good. The team won. They looked good on stage. The performance was... I would, I wish I could have seen the performance live. It was great. I the, Just the chemistry that they had on the stage with Roger looked like they'd been performing on the stage with him all along. I mean, they cute it. It was, it was absolutely wonderful. I do hope that this is a learning experience uh, for Cameron where she learns to ask questions when she don't fully understand something and she learns to take the construction criticism. She don't need to take it personal to heart because it wasn't meant like she did anything bad. It wasn't like she was told she didn't think bad, but she did great. And, I, my thing for her wanting to, I mean, needing to take construction criticism is like when they have those um, competitions or like those trials that Diana took them to where they can get scholarships and stuff. Constructive criticism can help if she, if it's taking the heart can help do better where she can get she can do better with those trials for those scholarships and stuff. But anyway, it is one o'clock. Well. Two o'clock, two minutes to two o'clock a.m. I am done binge watching. Friday is today is Tuesday. The new episode comes on Friday, and I will see y'all doing that episode. I'm going to get up in the morning and I'll be watching another show, binge watching and uploading some reviews to that one. And I will see y'all then. Remember to click the bell down here to get the notifications. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like and comment and share. Thanks for watching. Bye.